Welcome Arithmetic Ninjas to question number 27. 3.9 times 30. Now I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this, both of which get the same answer. Now way number one is to ignore the zero and do 3.9 times 3. Well, 3 times 9 is 27, put the 7 in, carry the 2. And 3 threes are 9, plus the 2 is 11. Put your decimal point in, that's 11.7. Well, 11.7 is the answer to 3.9 times 3. But if we make that 3 10 times bigger, 30, which is what the question actually wanted, we would actually make, if we made the 3 10 times bigger, we'd have to make our answer 10 times bigger. And to make your answer 10 times bigger than 11.7, all the digits move one place to the left. So the 7 would actually end up in front of the point and the one, 1 would move over as well to make 117. So your answer looks like it's going to be 117. There is a totally different way of getting exactly the same answer. So in the first method, we crossed out the 0, made the 30 10 times smaller, and then at the end made it back 10 times bigger again to make it back into 30. What we could do now is cross out the decimal point, ignore the decimal point. And do 39 times 30. Well, 39 times 30. Basically, the you haven't got any. You're not going to times this zero by anything because there's no units there. So you just really times it by 30. Times by 30, you put magic zero on the end, and then go three nines are 27. Carry the two. Three threes are nine plus two is 11. So that's 1170. So that's 39 times th 39 times 30 is 1170. But 3.9 times 30, well, 3.9 is 10 times smaller than 39. So if you put your decimal point back in to make the 39 10 times smaller, you need to put your decimal point back in on the answer. And 10 times smaller than 1170 is 117.0. Either way, you're going to get. 117. Final answer.